Hello everyone, welcome back to 2230, the channel that brings you in-depth discussions on news and politics in the Asian region. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been making headlines recently, the increase in GST here in Singapore. But before we get into the details, if you find this content interesting, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you haven't already, do subscribe for more engaging discussions. So, on January 1, 2024, Singapore witnessed a significant change as the goods and services tax, GST, saw a 1% increase, moving from 8% to 9%. That's a 12.5% jump, and it has sparked a lot of debates and concerns among the citizens. Today, we're going to explore whether this increase is necessary, its potential impact on inflation, and the economic hardships it might bring. One argument against the GST hike is its potential contribution to inflation. Critics argue that an increase in the GST could lead to higher prices for goods and services, affecting the cost of living for ordinary Singaporeans. The concerns don't stop there, some believe that the temporary handouts to mitigate this economic impact are merely a short-term solution, while the increase in GST is permanent, creating a long-lasting burden on the people. What adds an interesting twist to this discussion is the political backdrop. In 2015, during an election, Mr. Lo Thia Kiang foresaw the possibility of a GST hike, suggesting that the ruling party, the PAP, could change its mind anytime. Prime Minister Li Xin Long, however, defended against this, stating that an increase in GST would only be necessary due to profligate spending and irresponsible and unsustainable plans. Fast forward to 2018, and we witnessed the PAP indeed changing its stance, justifying the GST hike as necessary to fund healthcare for an aging population. The question arises, why didn't the government foresee the aging population issue in 2015? This apparent shift in justification raises eyebrows and invites scrutiny. Examining Singapore's economic history, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, data shows a chronic balance account surplus over the last 20 years, with a significant deficit only occurring in 2020 due to the impact of COVID-19. This surplus prompts the question, is a rise in GST at this juncture, with the accompanying hardships for Singaporeans, truly justifiable? Moreover, the recent increases in water, electricity, and gas prices add another layer to this debate, fueling concerns about the overall economic burden on the population. In conclusion, the GST increase in Singapore is a multifaceted issue that involves economic, political, and social considerations. As citizens grapple with the effects of this change, the government's justifications and the historical context certainly raise valid questions. What are your thoughts on this matter? Do you believe the GST hike is necessary, or is it a cause for concern? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful discussions here on 2230. Until next time, stay informed and stay engaged.